Welcome back. Fox News is committed to your health, so we are following the latest in medical advances. Today, we're talking about the first robotic liver resection in southern Alabama. It's performed earlier this year at USA Health. So we have Dr. Fonseca in the studio to talk more about this procedure and the benefits. First, thank you for sparing some of your time to come in today to talk about this. Absolutely, glad to be here. Yeah, so what is this robotic liver surgery? How does it work? So people need liver surgery for a number of reasons. Mm -hmm. um, traditionally, this was always done using open incisions, so you got a, a relatively big incision in your abdomen. Um, and the, while there still is a role for that, in a lot of cases, we can do it now in a much more minimally invasive fashion. So we use a robot to help us do that. Mm -hmm. We make tiny incisions, a little incision above your belly button. We mm -hmm. put in a camera and put in instruments that way. And we can do the operation that we would have been doing with a big incision. We do the exact same operation mm -hmm. um, through small incisions. Um, and that leads to a shorter hospital length of stay. Uh, patients heal better, there are much less wound infections. There's much significantly improved pain control. Mm -hmm. uh, patients go home sooner. Um, and so all in all, um, it's great when, we, when it can be done. Right, so it, we said earlier that this is one of the first performed earlier mm -hmm. this year. Is it because it's not a common procedure or not a tool everyone has? And so um, traditionally that was not the way it was done, right? Traditionally we did it open. Uh, and so it's, um, the reason for the change a little bit is because um, the um, it helps to make it it helps to make it so that patients recover faster. Mm -hmm. um, the reason it was not um, done so much is because uh, it's technically challenging. So I liver see. surgery is somewhat technically challenging mm -hmm. and it takes a little bit of a learning curve to get there. Why is it challenging? Um, so the liver is kind of, s we think about it as being in the abdomen, but yeah. it really sits up flat sort of up against your ribs. Mm -hmm. And so it's a harder place to get to. Yeah. It's harder to mobilize and it's sitting close to and supplied by a number of big blood vessels. Mm -hmm. And so the surgery is technically challenging because there's a, it has great blood supply, okay. but that also means it's harder surgery to do. And the cameras, um, I guess, help with that, right? Yes, and so the cameras, uh, so it has, uh, one of the things we used to do before, and we still do in some cases, is laparoscopic surgery. Yes which is minimally invasive, mm -hmm. uh, and so you make a small incision, but it's, it's sort of trying to, d the, the, the way to describe it is probably like doing something with chopsticks, ah. whereas the, ro the robot. And how many of us can use <laughs> chopsticks? <laughs> whereas the robot gives you wristed motion. So uh, it is an advance that mm -hmm. allows us to do things that we could not do laparoscopically because now we have wristed motion and so you can do it kind of like you would do it open. Mm -hmm. And you touched on it briefly, but why would someone need liver surgery? Um, so most often, I'm a surgical oncologist, so I'm trained in cancer surgery. Most often, the patients that will need liver resection is because they have um, a mass in the liver, mm -hmm. something that's either suspicious for cancer or that we know is cancer and it needs mm -hmm. to come out. All right, well, very fascinating information. Thank you for stopping by. And if you want to watch this interview again, we'll be sure to get it posted for you on our YouTube channel. So look for it shortly and then subscribe. That way you're notified when a new video is uploaded. Thank you again. Absolutely.